Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, a pressure transducer, pressure measurement device. So it is called as thin plate diaphragm, okay, which will be used for measurement of pressure. So, the thin plate diaphragm, it is basically a primary transducer. So, I've already, uh, in the, you know, when we started the sensors and transducers discussion, I've already discussed the difference between primary and secondary transducer. So, basically, what a primary transducer does is that it senses a parameter and it gives mechanical movement okay and that mechanical movement has to be converted into suitable electrical signals because in order to process to analyze the signal we have to convert it into electrical form so basically we connect a secondary transducer such as LVDT potentiometer or any other capacitive, inductive, resistive type uh, device which converts that mechanical movement into voltage or current signal. So basically the thin plate diaphragm they fall in the primary transducer category. They do not produce any electrical output, they only produce movement, displacement, mechanical uh, movement. Okay. So it is an elastic type uh, device so basically the basic design of thin plate diaphragm is like this okay it comes with a certain radius capital R and a certain thickness so the thin plate diaphragms they generally come in a circular plate uh, structure and they are made from metal alloys such as uh, or any other proper uh, metal such as bronze, phosphor bronze, beryllium copper, stainless steel and other suitable alloys depending upon how much pressure is to be, it is to be subjected and what is the uh, requirement in which conditions in which environment it has to be placed. Okay. Now the ratio of the diameter to the thickness also is very important for diaphragm, plate diaphragm type pressure measurement devices. So this ratio of the diameter to the thickness, okay, the diameter to the thickness, it generally varies from 25 to 100 and the thickness, it ranges from 0.1 millimeter to 5 millimeter okay so this is very important this and this then the basic arrangement how this whole thing works is that it is kept you know fixed between two points these two stationary points and then it is subjected to the pressure which has to be measured. Now this portion, okay, this portion is flexible. This is the flexible portion, the elastic portion. And these two are the fixed points, okay, fixed stationary points. Now what happens is that when it is subjected to any kind of external pressure, this flexible part, it undergoes displacement, deformation. So the important uh, parameter here is the displacement of this diaphragm, this elastic diaphragm from its initial position. This is the initial position. This the initial position this is the deformation and this change in position 
is called as the displacement of the diaphragm okay now the plate looks like this but when we see it from a side view it look it will look something like this okay so when it undergoes deformation it undergoes displacement then how we can relate we can establish a relationship between the pressure and the displacement that is very important so here the pressure difference the internal and the external pressure the pressure on one side or the other side that is very important so here p1 is the pressure on this side of the diaphragm p2 is on the other side here p1 is greater than p2 so the pressure difference will be p1 minus p2 so basically we have to establish a relationship between the pressure difference and the deformation or the displacement of the diaphragm these two important parameters so such a relationship for this thin plate diaphragm is expressed as per this mathematical equation okay so it's a complicated relationship yes lot of parameters are there so it is a little bit difficult to remember but still you can give it a try so here the pressure difference that is p1 minus p2 which one is internal which one is external it depends on how you assign it so p1 minus p2 the pressure difference is given by 6 et to the 4 divided by 3 r to the power 4 into 1 minus mu square ym by t plus 0 0.488 ym by t whole cube now here another important thing to notice is that we have used y subscript m this is the maximum displacement or deformation that the diaphragm can undergo this condition the maximum deformation or displacement beyond this it will get damaged so the relationship between the pressure difference and the maximum displacement is this here r capital r is this radius of the diaphragm t is the thickness of the diaphragm element taking into consideration this diameter thickness ratio depending upon the requirement capital e is young's modulus of elasticity which is the ratio between stress applied and the resultant strain produced then mu is poisson's ratio which is the ratio between lateral strain and longitudinal strain now again i want to repeat that we have already discussed all of these things in detail in the material science and engineering playlist so i am not repeating it again also i have discussed these things in the previous sensors and transducers videos all these terms they have you know these are repetitive terms they will come every now and then in mechanical transducers i have discussed it in material science i have discussed it in the previous videos of sensors and transducers so please watch those videos where i have discussed in detail you can refer to material science engineering or previous videos of sensors and transducers so unnecessarily i am not dragging this lecture forward so these are the uh, terms which are involved in this equation okay so this establishes establishes a relationship between the pressure difference and the maximum displacement now suppose we have displacement or deformation in between uh, the initial position and the maximum displacement somewhere in between that like this here it is not maximum displacement it is not the initial position some kind of a displacement or deformation in between so in this case this deformation radius that becomes very important how much deformation has happened that is 
given by this small r which is the radius of deformation okay the small r is radius of deformation why i am using radius that term radius because from the side view it is looking like it is a straight line but actually it is this this one like this it undergoes deformation this top por portion it goes up and then down like that so that's why i have using the uh, radius term this is just the side view but actually it looks something like this otherwise it would have been very difficult to show you that's why i have used the you know the side view and in this case for deformation in between the initial position and the maximum displacement the equation to establish the relationship between pressure change and displacement is like this any deformation in between the initial and the maximum displacement is given by 3 into 1 minus mu square by 16 et cube r square capital r square minus small r square whole square delta p which is the pressure change again the terms they mean the same thing mu is poisson's ratio e is young's modulus of elasticity t is the thickness r is the radius of the diaphragm capital r is the radius of the diaphragm and small r is the radius of the portion which has undergone deformation okay know the difference between capital r and small r do not confuse them okay so here let me try to explain further suppose only this much portion okay like this it is here only this much portion would have undergone deformation so in that case this would have been the radius of deformation this much which is less than this one this radius of deformation so this is variable but this capital r is fixed which is the radius of the diaphragm that is fixed but the portion which undergoes deformation that radius is variable depending upon how much pressure is being put so that relationship between any deformation or displacement in between the initial and the maximum displacement or maximum deformation which is somewhere in between that is given by this relationship okay so like i said this displacement of the diaphragm it can be connected to any secondary transducer such as lvdt potentiometer or any inductive capacitive or resistive transducer to convert it into a voltage or current signal and then we can provide further signal conditioning processing circuitry to get a readable output presentable output so this is the whole principle of pressure measurement using thin plate diaphragms okay basic design construction working principle and mathematical relationship so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much